Scorpio, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday 30th of November 2020. So I do the Spirit Animal Oracle, Moontology Oracle, Past, Present, Future, Energies All Clarified and finish with the Star Temple Oracle. Thank you to everyone who's liking and subscribing, super duper awesome. And I've been getting a few comments now and loving it, so beautiful. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe and the notification bell because I do do weekly readings, quick fire reading on this weekend and monthly readings. And towards the end of next week, I will be releasing the um, yearly readings for each star sign. So I've got them scheduled to go out beginning of December. Okay, so we are going to begin general reading only take with you what resonates um, check your sun moon rising venus signs any number synchronicities and cross watches are most welcome keep forgetting to say venus sign somebody reminded me and it's like oh so i think i've kept up with that now anyway scorpio See what you get you get number 37 lion spirit be generous of spirit awesome love that beautiful okay so some of it look after your tribe <laughs> be that lion be brave strong guys have that Scorpio that one came out that's just one on its own love that because full moon in Virgo you are good enough okay love that beautiful okay be generous spirit because you are good enough Another Scorpio Trying to get some of these out um, and scheduled because I'm be back on my seven days on and seven off. Have to leave home at seven a.m. and be home at five p.m. So I'm going to have to get that table lamp sorted because some of them may be done over time. What do they say under the cover of darkness? <laughs> right, Scorpio. Awesome to have in the core of your reading, the Magus, Magician, beautiful. Anyway, overall for the week, Scorpio, you've got that stability and commitment. So it could be a marriage, could be a proposal, engagement, um, moving in together, anything. Could be a new job that's become permanent and more stability and commitment there involved for the week. Love it, beautiful. Okay, so in your past energies, you've got the Ace of Pentacles, Three of Wands, and the Tower. So there's this brand new beginning that's been had here. Love it. Beautiful. Allowed you to see things a lot more clearly and see seen the bigger picture there. And it's taken this tower to explode and release everything from further back here in order to start building this new beginning and this new foundation more clearly, doing it more clearly. Beautiful. Your, your prison energy is the star, the magus, and the ten of car, um, ten of pentacles. Okay, so super duper wishes, manifestation, doing that correctly and brings you into the success and stability that you're looking for there. Okay, beautiful, awesome. Okay, and your future energies, you've got the prince of pentacles, the two of cups, and the queen of wands. Okay, so there's this new offer coming towards you. Some of you can be a new love. Um, something can be done as a love that's already ready and existing okay could be something to do with all the stability and commitment here but this is very slow moving so there's patience involved there and need to keep things up front on us put your expectations out on the table and listen to what others expect of you but beautiful underlying reading Scorpio awesome Ok, 
Okay, so we're going to clarify. So we've got the Four of Wands. That's that stability there. Some of you commitment, yes. Six of Swords, Hierophant, Nine of Pentacles. So definitely movement forward. Some of it can be done in secrecy. You may have this job that you don't want people to know about just yet. Again, could be a marriage proposal that you don't know want people to know about yet. Regardless, this is a movement forward card and love that. Beautiful. Okay, sticking to your guns. You're going to do things your way. This is like stop. Don't tell me that I can't do this. You know, they may be telling you you're not good enough. Yeah, you are. You've got this behind you. Full moon in Virgo. You are good enough. Follow your own, own heart. Okay, and you'll see that success coming towards you. That's going to bring you that success by following your own heart there. Okay, so we're going to go to the Ace of Pentacles in the past. Judgment, Five of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. So I think, yeah, people may have been judging you in the past and um, not keeping an open mind or whether you now need to keep an open mind over something where you felt isolated and abandoned, left out in the cold, okay? But they are moving forward now, okay? Into warmer energy. They're overcoming all the hurdles and obstacles here. You're now on solid ground and wondering where to next. And this is all around this brand new beginning here with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so you are over the worst of it and um, now able to move forward. So going into the Three of Wands, we've seen the bigger picture and things are a lot more clearer. Queen of Pentacles, the Lovers and the Eight of Swords. So you're proud of how far you came with your achievements and success there. Very proud, okay. But um, somebody significant here. We're clarifying the Three of Wands, so it could have been a soulmate twin flame, but for some of you, you may have seen somebody for who they are, with, make, with th seeing things clearer, seeing the bigger picture, okay, which left you in this feeling of not being able to move forward any further. Cut those bindings, you'll see that there's nothing blocking your way. Alternatively, somebody is on this path with you to help you get rid of this blindfold, um, and the two of you can see things clearer together and move forward from that. Okay, so we've got the tower here, which is exploding all this past energy out that you don't need. The moon, ten of swords, and the ace of wands. So yeah, so the moon comes up when the sun goes down, okay, and makes things a lot more clearer when things are quite shadowy and dark. Okay, the tower's exploded and there's all this dark smoke or in the darkness it's exploded. Okay, this is shining bright to show you, yes, there's a solid foundation there that you can still be built on. That will take care of this pain here that you're going through and because the Ten of Swords, this is the end of a cycle, okay? A lot of people may have felt like they've been stabbed in the back with all these swords onto his back but that cycle is finishing there an apology might be given might be due might be given um, but either way you've now got this brand new goal and this brand new vision of where you want to be and where you're heading towards so as you're going into these two for the present energy so super duper wishing and manifestation there for for the success so We'll see what that has to come out with the stars. So it could be dealing with an Aquarius. Three of Cups. I'll put the cards upside down. Eight of Wands. And the Three of Swords. So check your number synchronicities, as we said, because you've got the three and the three. So 33. But whatever you're wishing is something that you're wanting to celebrate. Get together with friends. Um, a lot of you with that isolation still happening um, might be just wanting to get together with friends. There needs to be clear, honest and open communication because without that it comes out with this heartache and this heart pain because something's not made so clear, something's not put on the table 
up front. Okay, so we'll go into this magis, this manifestation. Love this for the middle of your reading. Six of six of cups, nine of cups, seven of pentacles. So fond memories here. Maybe what you're manifesting back again. You may be manifesting a reconciliation for some of you. Okay, but um, either way, you're wanting to get back either with somebody or you're wanting to get back into that energy of um, that playful energy, butterflies in your tummy, things like that. Okay, it's going to bring you this emotional stability, emotional happiness, everything that you're wanting there, and everything will start falling into place again. You're working really hard and getting it all together, and it's all lining up back into place to go into this Ten of Pentacles will clarify, which is the success and happiness, and for some people, the stability of this family life. And say, family doesn't have to be mum, dad, two, do two dogs and a kid, I was going to say. <laughs> two kids and a dog <laughs> or could be two dogs and a kid <laughs> but could be friends workmates anything that stability there though five of cups king of cups three of pentacles so some of you with this heartache may just be the memories you're hanging on to because now you're just focused on this loss and here okay look look here shift the focus look here and see that there is other loving energy around you okay and it's very strong energy very powerful very in control and um, it's got your back there right there for you and the way that they are coming out like that here's behind you with these cups so there okay getting together with somebody and building a solid new foundation okay teamwork but planning does need to be involved look at all the details building a solid foundation is is step one to your ten of pentacles success okay so we're going into your future energies prince of pentacles two of swords temperance and ten of wands okay so whatever this offer is that's coming towards you as i said is very very slow you can't see it coming when you've got the blindfold on okay so take that blindfold off make your decision about whether you're going to head towards that coming in or not don't overindulge keep things on an even flow and that will move you forward with that with that even flow it'll allow this burden because it's been a burden with um this in the past and and this okay and it's been a heavy weight on your shoulders but that is coming towards and towards the end now that cycle is finishing again but you've got this offer coming in but patience <laughs> i'm not patient <laughs> okay so we're going to the two of cups so there's definitely somebody significant here with you on this journey death five of swords ten of cups okay so there's that death card love that Okay, that is letting this go and moving forward into this brand new chapter and it could be a brand new love for some of you it's a it's an existing love but there's definitely a brand new chapter for the two of you there to move forward with love it okay five of swords whatever you're fighting for if you walk away from it it's not a that's not a that's not a coward that's not a loss that's a victory knowing that it's time to walk away Likewise, fighting for what you believe in is coming out with a victory there. Beautiful. Whatever victory you've got is this Ten of Cups, happiness, and again, happy family life there. It's beautiful. Love it. Okay, so we're going to the Queen of Wands. Eight of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Seven of Wands. Okay, focusing on work or yourself don't turn your back to everything else though do still be aware of what's going on around you but working super hard okay to get to where you want to be sometimes it's taking a lot of healing to yourself take time out nothing wrong with that beautiful awesome but don't give up persistence okay go for it you've got this queen of wands that you're clarifying it's got that confidence and that determination and yes I've got this I can do this and it's like yeah you can because full moon in Virgo yeah you are good enough love it beautiful and on the bottom before I 
shuffle is the Six of Wands, victory. Love it, Scorpio. So we're going to see what the universe has to say. Ten of Cups, Prince of Wands, Nine of Swords. There's your Ten of Cups again. Okay, so you've got that double whammy of that. Beautiful. You've got that emotional happiness, stability there. You've got that vision. You see that coming towards you. And, um, and I said, somebody is on this journey with you. Okay, so the both of you can see that coming towards you. Any new vision or anything that you're releasing does cause all this overthinking. It's like, what do I do now? Will this work? What if I do this? What if I do that? Okay, so try not to stress out and be too anxious about things because you've got somebody significant on this journey with you um, because you've got the two, two Ten of Cups there and you've got that Two of Cups there. Okay, so beautiful, love it. So Scorpio, let's go to the Star Temple Oracle, see what that has to say. Okay, you get 28, the Seven Sisters Circle. Sisterhood enriches my life. that we can try and read it a bit just this card does not want to do it no matter how often I try and hold it somewhere but I'll read that that's kind of like the circle of life um, circle of friends love it number 28 star words connection collective collaboration together everyone achieves more True sisterhood deepens and magnifies both personal and collective sacred assignments and success. Competition and comparison create disharmony. Surround yourself with supportive sisters so you can celebrate your achievements together. Like-minded friendships enrich your life with mutual encouragement and connection. Our divine feminine lineage of sisterhood links back to the priestesses, healers and oracles of the ancient temples scattered all over our earth mother. United in sisterhood, we nurture, nourish and heal both the earth and each other. Unified, we create compassion, peace and reconciliation. Beautiful Scorpio, love it. Awesome. So you have got this and... Um, you know, and have the, have your friends and sisterhood behind you, and you're definitely good enough. Remember that. Love that. Beautiful. So that's what I have. Hope it help. And don't forget to click the like and subscribe and the notification bell. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.